Hi, Seb from Shaper 3D here. We've just released a new items menu on Shaper 3D for Windows, and we've updated the measurements tool with new point-to-point -point measurements. Let's take a couple of minutes to check these out together. So starting with the items menu, if I open it up from the top left here, you can basically see that we have completely revamped the items menu to a style which should be much more familiar for all of you Windows users. One of the main advantages of this new implementation is that basically uh, you can open up any of the folders within your hierarchy and you can maintain full context while you're modeling or if you're moving uh, parts of the hierarchy around. Uh, so let's say let's move the workspace into the jigs and fixtures folder. You can maintain full context of that and that makes it much more easy for you to maintain an overview of more complex designs. You can also continue to do the usual kinds of operations which you would do on the items menu from this space. Uh, so let's say that we just want to quickly isolate the, uh, isolate the rest of the base here. So you can right click and continue to have access to all of these features. Let's click isolate here. And while we're in this mode, uh, I can actually demo the new measurements tool. Uh, so let me pan around here. Uh, so that we can see this. And what I'd like to do is actually add a view of the gap between the midpoint of these rails. Uh, so we can maintain context of this one modeling to make sure that the uh, workpiece holes align with the rail they'll eventually be tightened into. So I can open up the measurements uh, sidebar here and I can select adding a new point to point measurement. And it's really easy to quickly add the midpoints here can easily move those if we get the wrong uh, points. And you can see that we've got this pin measurement of 184 millimeters. And I can exit that mode. I can zoom out a bit more again. And let's also exit isolation mode. And we can now do the exact same thing where we add additional point-to-point -point measurements to the center points of these holes of the workpiece. And you can see they're also 184 millimeters in width. This is particularly useful because if while you're modeling any of these measurements change, uh, so let's actually use some direct modeling and hit move rotate and move this hole a little bit to the side here, you can actually see that the two no longer match up and you'd be able to notice that and make the necessary adjustments to have that match up again. And just a quick demo of the three point angle measurements tool as well. So I can deselect everything, add a new measurement from here. Uh, from the sidebar here, uh, you can select three point angle, and then we can very easily select a point here, this point, and the bottom point here. And that makes it really easy to maintain visibility of this key angle here, should it be important for you to use that to maintain clearance or, or something like that in your model. So that's a quick overview of the latest features we have added to Shaper 3D over the last couple of weeks. Um, as usual, we're constantly working on improving the application. So if you have any ideas for additional parts of the measurement sidebar that you'd love to see, uh, any ideas for how you'd love to see the Windows app improving, or any other ideas uh, for things which you'd love to see in Shaper 3D, as usual, reach out in the comments. We'll be checking those out. Um, thanks so much for taking the time to join me again today and see you next time.